So you're at 17 on it. Yep. Would you do 15.5? No. This year's National is brought to you by Midwest Cards, the official wax sponsor of Sports Card Investor. With an amazing selection of wax on their website, check them out at MidwestCards.com. All right, here we go. We're starting. Thank you. Oh man, I'm like a kid in a candy store just walking in this place. Oh man, where to start? So, <laughs> there's so much that it's actually good to try to kind of systematically work your way through the show floor. Because if you don't, you're gonna get lost. You're not even gonna know what you've seen and haven't seen by the time this thing's over. You wanna talk about the scope of the National? Like, this just gives you an idea of the scope. Look, <laughs> like if you're a Mickey Mantle collector, you wouldn't find a booth like this at your typical, you know, neighborhood sports card show but like what an assortment but this is just one of many booths here where you're going to be able to find these types of mantle cards but what an assortment to choose from so my goals for this year's national i'm buying i'm buying right now i think it's a really good time to buy i'm taking advantage of the dip in the market i'm optimistic things are going to go back up again so i'm looking for i'm looking for deals i'm looking for cards that I can hold for the long term. And I'm also looking for some cards that might have, you know, flip potential sometime this fall or winter. So I, I got these 1933 Gaudi Babe Ruth, these two, when I was in LA this summer. And I need to complete this set while I'm here at National, right? I want to get the four, yeah. there were four uh, yes. Babe Ruths in that 33 right. Gaudi set, right. right? So you've got the other two here, it looks like. Yes. You've got the. You've got the yellow, which is uh, card number 53. Generally and the toughest one. This is the yes. toughest one. Why is this one the toughest one to It could be get? like it's a single print where number 144, the full image, was a double print, yeah. though it's my favorite one. Yeah. Uh, so it's, 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 it's really the toughest one. And this one, which is my least favorite, is also kind of tough. Mm -hmm. Well, my two are in PSA holders, so if I were to get others i would probably try to get them in psa hold sure. holders as well sure. so you've got the yellow one here so you've got two yellow yeah. ones that are both they're both the same grade they're both psa okay. two yep but you're charging you're charging different prices for correct that. is that because of the eye appeal what's the rationale right. of the, the price the eye appeal the centering i mean this really here look at the yellow yeah. background mm -hmm. And it just blows the other yeah. one away. If you're gonna buy one, this is the one you want. Right, it's amazing Sometimes that the they could be the same grade, but right. one could look so much yes. nicer yes. than the other. You find that a lot with the vintage cards. Correct, yeah. correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's a beauty. Okay. Well, let me look at where the market is on these right now. Yeah, so last sale online of this one, of a two was 15.6. So you're kind of right around that mm -hmm. where both of yours are priced. And that's why this one is higher because of the eye appeal, mm -hmm. the background. Yeah. Yeah, that's that makes fair. That's fair. It's a fair price on it. I'm interested in potentially coming back on those. Great. I really like those Babe Ruths and I want to complete that collection. So I might kind of refocus my attention here right now to going and looking at other copies of that Ruth on the show floor to find the best combo of price and eye appeal I can find. Because if that's it, if that one's it, I should go back and buy it as soon as I can before somebody else picks it up during the show. Well, I, like to, I like to play, but the problem is that I'm gonna win. And I hate to, I hate to take the prize so away. I, I hate to take the prize away, I'm gonna win. I don't, I don't lose carnival games. Okay. I win That's carnival you games. Play. You play. Okay, I'm up. I'm in. I'm in. All right, I'm gonna get in line here. We gotta do this. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm number five. Here we go. Number five is gonna win. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, five. Come on, five. Come on, five. Come on, five. Ah, that's bad. No. Five. Come on, five. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. you got it, you got hey. It. Hey. It was all that fat guy. I told you I didn't lose carnival <laughs> games. Good job, guys. Hey, good job. Good job. No, we gotta give we gotta give this kid the prize here. This is for you. I got it. I got some of her right here. I got I got, Hey buddy, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Don't sell any of your expensive cards unless you get a really, really good deal. Because there's, first of all, there's a thousand dealers. So don't accept a deal unless you're really sure it's like awesome. And second of all, you'll end up doing really well at trade night tomorrow night. So don't be picky. Today and tomorrow, don't go crazy. Be picky. Because you got a lot of show to work with here, okay? All right. Yeah, so I got, I picked up two of the, um, Gaudi Ruths this summer in LA. So oh, I've nice. got those two. Okay. I've got uh, 144 and 149. So you need the yellow and you need, I need that one. I need the yellow one and I need the 181, right? Yeah, the yellow one that I had, uh, we used in like a, a hit random through Vintage Breaks. Gotcha. Um, but that came from the same deal as this. They were in the same family since 1933, and I believe that one as well. Wow, um, really? Yeah. Single owner since, since yes. 33. Yep. Wow. I'm working on a big Gaudi collection this summer, uh, a few weeks after the National. Um, that so, one's got nice eye appeal. Very good eye appeal. So like if you take it out, you're gonna see why I graded that, but mm -hmm. to me these days, the way they're grading, it's a little bit different when it has like the new hologram versus like an old grade, especially on vintage. Right. It's got great eye appeal for the, for the grade. It really it does. Got, it definitely has a crease. Yeah, uh, I guess that's is, what would have to pull the grade yes. down because otherwise it looks pretty good. Otherwise, if you look at the card, without trying to me to oversell it, it looks like it's X, mm -hmm. like a five. So, you know, obviously it's priced accordingly. It's not a week two and a half, it's a very nice two and a half. Yeah, 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 that makes sense, okay. So you're a 19.5 on this. So yeah, like, there was a three that looks like sold recently for 13.6. So obviously, it, may, it probably wasn't as nice, but from a grade yes. standpoint. So, and, and once again, I can probably talk about this forever and I don't want to bore you yep. and have bad video, but to me, it's all about the card these days, especially right. when it comes to this time. Like a three that was graded and, and looks more of like a two, this card look, more looks like a five. So I priced it accordingly. Yeah. You know, yeah. a little bit of flexibility, but not much. Yeah, PSA where it came four. From yeah, PSA four hasn't sold in a while. No two fives have sold in a while. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll definitely think about that one Great. for sure. That definitely. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a lap right now just to see what other ones I see. Absolutely. But um, that's a good candidate. That's a good candidate. It's a, it's one of the better looking ones I've seen so far. Yeah, so I've looked at a lot of different booths now and one of those first ones that I saw, that guy was offering me a nice deal on that card and it was such good condition. I might go back and see what I can do to negotiate on that. All right, I'm about to go make an offer on this card and when I do, I'm gonna use Market Movers. It's been super helpful on the show floor today and it's now only $9.99 a month. We've dropped the price. You can get a subscription right now by going to sportscardinvestor.com, clicking on Market Movers in the main menu bar. Hey, Don. Hi. All right, so I, I, I went through a lot of the show floor. I still really love the 33 Gaudi, the, the one you got there at 17K. Can I see that one again? The okay. two there you got for 17K. Okay, yes, yes. It's a nice copy. I've looked at a bunch of other copies. This one's a nice copy for sure. Great, great. That's a tough one, the number 53. Yeah, it's the toughest of them. And that one's got good eye appeal, as you said. Yes. Yeah, that's a good, it's a good looking card. So you're at 17 on it, yes. is your asking price for that. Yep. Would you do 15.5? No. <laughs> you won't do 15.5? No. No, I can give you a price, and when I give my price the way I work, I've been yep. doing this a long time, yep. I'm firm, okay. my price would be 16. Your price would be 16. And if you can live with that, I okay. would do the deal. But so you do I, 16 I can't for do it? 15, five. Okay. 16 so do, would be my bottom. 16 would be your bottom. Yes. And I'm paying a little bit of a premium on this one versus that other one, just simply because it's a nicer. For sure. It's a nicer for eye sure. appeal type oh, copy. Yeah. It blows the other one away. It does. There's no way I'm gonna sell this one when that one's there. Yeah. So maybe I'm doing you a favor by buying yes. this from you. Yes. I'm allowing you to have the less desirable one. Okay, so. Yeah, so the last one sold online a few months ago for 15.6. So you're doing 16. Just a and little knows, above that, but it's- Who knows what that one looks like? Yeah. This one, you know what it looks like, you have it in your I head. I do, but I do. But definitely firm. And it's it's pretty. It is. It you definitely is. got a pretty card there. Okay. Okay. Sixteen thousand. 
Yes. Okay. Yep. You got a deal. Let's do it. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. There we go. All right. I got it. I got <laughs> number three of Excellent. the four 1933 Gaudis. So that's great. I'm close. Maybe tomorrow I'll get the fourth. We'll see. That's awesome. All right. Let me get you paid out here. Yep. So I could go on tomorrow. I'll see this. Tomorrow morning. You'll be able to wake up and watch this whole thing over breakfast. All right. So we're going to do five, seven, that's 8,000 cash. You got it. Appreciate it. Thank awesome. you. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Thank you. All right. I'm really happy I got that deal done. I think I got a pretty good price on it. But more importantly, I've now got three of the four 1933 Gaudi Babe Ruth cards. But I got to get number four before the show ends to complete the set. But that will be for tomorrow. For today, I'm going to go break a box with my son Reeves to celebrate the end of the day. And hey guys, while I do this, check out Market Movers in our new $9.99 plan by going to sportscardinvestor.com and clicking on Market Movers in the main menu bar. Let's rip some wax. Boba Shet, he's good, he's good. What do we got? Oh, number to 20. Sixto Sanchez, nice, nice rookie card auto. I got a prize for the winner. It's a Prism Trey Young PSA 10. Who am I gonna give it to? This was a tough one. Definitely me. He's crying. Who wants it? Me. It's mine. Don't worry, I got two. There you go. You're both winners in my book. Congratulations to both of you.